Hello everyone, it is me again. So, welcome to a really hot South Africa. My supplies and I are walking home, like I do every day from work. So I decided to make a video. A couple of weeks ago I asked you if you would like some tips what you can do or try when you're walking and you run out of snacks and you're going low. First thing that I would like to do is if you're on the pump you can just disconnect it so that you won't get any extra insulin. Well would you look at that it's raining so I put my raincoat on and now I can go on. What's the other thing I can do? Well the thing I would like to do is always walk slower. Okay now it sounds stupid because you still have very far to go if you're walking far distances but just think of this, if you walk really quickly, it burns more energy. So you will go low even quicker. So I like to walk slower and slower. Eventually you'll get home and you will save energy. And another thing I like to do is keep myself cool. Because when my sugar drops, I really get hot. So I would keep myself cool with a piece of paper like fan myself or a book if you have a book I don't normally have books because I don't actually read that much but any case or you can use your shirt you know just to fan yourself to keep cool and the dogs are trying to attack me that is a bad thing because you want to run and that's you know energy gonna get burnt and another thing I would like to do is I've got a friend that's like a therapist that teaches people how to keep calm and don't stress and all that and she told me once that when you run you run on your tippy toes and that actually causes your body to release adrenaline and adrenaline hacks into your glucose storages or I don't know I'm not a biologist but it hacks into that and releases glucose and that gives you energy to burn, to run and all that. Like the flight, the fight or flight, the f fight, flight, flight, fight, whatever, that thingy. Well, I tried that in the reverse. I walked on my tippy toes, not like sneaky, sneaky, but just walk on my tippy toes like so. See? And... That actually helped because that slowed down my going downness, you know. I'm not making sense, am I? Well, I just walked on my tippy toes and that actually, with walking slowly, actually helped. I didn't go low as much and as quickly as I would normally. I'm going to stop rambling now. And would you believe it? I'm home and I'm low and I didn't have a snack. Ironic, isn't it? So, what is the last thing you can do? Is always have snacks. Be sure to have snacks in your bag, okay? Yes, I forgot my snacks too. So it's fine, you do forget sometimes. But always remember, have a glucose shot thingy, that orange little injection with you at all times. And my bread is messing all over the place. So, have those just in case, so if you're going to pass out, if you're really low and you can't get it up and you can't find anything to bring it up, you've got that and you just jab yourself and then make sure you get to a doctor. And that's all I've got. That's my tips. That's things I like to do. So don't think I'm saying you should do those things when you're low and walking. It's what I do. It's not to say it's going to work for you, but it works for me. Well, if you've got any tips, please leave them in the description. No, not the description. See, I'm below. Leave them in the comments below. I've got in the sub thingy at the bottom, I've got descriptions. I'm really low. My Facebook and my Instagram and everything is in here somewhere. The thing you call below, I'm really low. I can't think. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram if you want to see pictures of my dog or anything else. And you can leave a comment below tips that you have figured out to do when you're low and walking and you don't have any snacks. Then from me, myself and I, and my sandwich, goodbye everyone. Woohoo, I'm low.